Hey there, TV enthusiasts. Today, we're diving into a classic gem, a sitcom that brought laughter and heart to living rooms across the nation. Remember the first time you tuned in to The Bob Newhart Show? Whether it was a chuckle-filled evening or a cozy weekend binge, this series left its mark. The Bob Newhart Show, airing in 1972, centers around the deadpan charm of psychologist Bob Hartley. His quirky patience and the hilarious escapades with his wife Emily create a timeless comedy. But here's the twist. Did you know there are funny, shocking, and even sad facts about the show? Stick around because we've got the scoop. Now, before we spill the behind the scenes beans, we're curious when was the inaugural moment you joined the antics of Bob and Emily? Hit us up in the comments with your first time stories. And here's a challenge, share your most cherished memory or personal experience with the show. We're all ears for your tales. So if you're ready for a trip down memory lane full of surprises about the Bob Newhart Show, keep watching. And don't forget to drop your own anecdotes below. We can't wait to read them. The Bob Newhart Show, which aired in the early 1970s, garnered praise for its button-down humor and witty writing. It appealed to audiences with its adult themes that remained tasteful, unlike other shows of the era that relied on overt sexuality. The characters were portrayed with a dry humor, navigating through plausible yet absurd situations, which distinguished it from slapstick comedy prevalent at the time. The protagonist, Bob, portrayed a nebbishy character, relying on his wit rather than his looks, which resonated with viewers who appreciated intelligence over physicality. The show provided a sense of hope for viewers, particularly those who identified with Bob's geeky persona. However, as the series progressed, some viewers felt a decline in quality, particularly in the later seasons. Around season four, signs of wear began to show, and by season five, the humor was deemed unfunny and cliché. Season six saw a notable absence of Bob Newhart in several episodes, leading to a sense of the show being phoned in. Despite these criticisms, the series still had its moments of brilliance, but it was unfortunate that it ended on a sour note, leaving a lasting impression of staleness rather than the fond memories of its earlier seasons. Overall, The Bob Newhart Show was a significant contribution to television comedy, offering clever humor and relatable characters that entertained audiences for several seasons, despite its eventual decline in quality towards the end. The Bob Newhart Show, a beloved sitcom from the 70s, featured a cast that included Tom Poston, Suzanne Plachette, Mary Fran, Marsha Wallace, Peter Boners, and more. The show also welcomed guest stars like Julie London, Buck Henry, and Bill Daly, among others. Bob and Emily, the main characters, resided in apartment 523. Interestingly, a phrase coined by one of the cast members, Fellow Baby, became popularized years later in another sitcom, WKRP in Cincinnati. This phrase was associated with the character Dr. Johnny Fever. The show's comedic charm and memorable characters have left a lasting impression on viewers. The Bob Newhart Show, which aired in 1972, showcased Bob's transition from his former career as an accountant in Chicago, a job he despised, to his successful comedy career. Bob, inspired by shows like I Love Lucy and The Milton Berle Show, found fame through his own sitcom. In the show, Bob's character often repeated the phrase, Hi Bob, a nod to his real-life dog, whom he named after this catchphrase. This simple yet effective comedic device became a trademark of the series, endearing Bob to audiences across the nation. Throughout the series, Bob's comedic timing and dry wit delighted viewers, making the Bob Newhart show a beloved classic that continues to entertain audiences to this day. Bob Newhart, a prominent figure in television, made a lasting impression on the small screen. His TV career spanned many years and included notable achievements. In October 2004, he attended the Hollywood Collectors Show in Burbank, California, where he happily signed autographs for fans. By that time, he was mostly retired and living in Albuquerque, New Mexico. One notable aspect of his TV career is that many of the series he starred in included his name in the title. Starting with The Bob Newhart Show in 1961, he continued with a second series in 1972. Following that, there was Newhart in 1982, Bob in 1992, and George and Leo in 1997. This shows his lasting impact on television. In December 2000, Suzanne Plachette, a co-star from The Bob Newhart Show, announced her engagement to Tom Poston. It's interesting to note that they appeared in different versions of shows with Bob Newhart's name with Plachette in the 1972 version and Poston in Newhart. 
Poston had a recurring role as Bob Hartley's old friend Cliff the Peeper Murdoch in the 1970s version. Plachette's connection to both versions became even more interesting when she made an appearance in the 1980s version's finale, creating a memorable link between the two sitcoms. Bob Newhart's influence on television, shown through his distinct naming convention and the lasting connections formed with his co-stars, remains a significant part of TV history. His impact continues to be remembered by fans and colleagues alike. The Bob Newhart Show aired in 1972. When Bob Newhart learned about the proposed series, he requested two changes. Firstly, he wanted his character to be a psychologist instead of a psychiatrist to avoid making fun of serious mental illness. Secondly, he insisted that his character should have no children to avoid the typical goofy father scenario. In a 1994 episode of Murphy Brown, characters Bob Hartley and Carol Kester Bondurant appeared. Carol became Murphy's 66th secretary and proved to be exceptional at her job. However, Bob Newhart's character convinces her to return to work for him by the end of the episode. Bob Newhart, the lead actor, had parents named Julia Paulin and George David. His father was a part owner of a plumbing and heating supply business while his mother was a housewife. Bob Newhart, known for his role in The Bob Newhart Show, changed his name from George Robert to Bob as a child. His wife, Jenny Newhart, conceived the idea for The Last Newhart, revealing that the entirety of the 1982 series was a dream of Dr. Bob Hartley. His comedy album The Button-Down Mind of Bob Newhart soared to one on the charts in 1960, outperforming Elvis Presley and the Sound of Music original Broadway cast album and garnered three Grammy Awards, including Album of the Year for 1960. The Bob Newhart Show, a sitcom from the 70s, had notable moments and unique features during its run. Firstly, Bob Newhart, the lead in the show, made eight appearances on The Ed Sullivan Show in 1948. This exposure contributed to his growing recognition in the entertainment industry. During the sixth and final season, a distinct approach was taken in a few episodes. The opening credits and theme song were omitted, replaced by the show starting directly with the first scene while the credits ran concurrently. This departure from the norm, although unconventional for the 70s, proved unpopular. After a brief trial, the traditional opening sequence was reinstated and maintained until the series concluded. Bob Newhart's involvement extended beyond television, starring in 83 episodes of the CBS Radio Mystery Theater. A radio show that aired from January 1974 to December 1982, showcasing Newhart's versatility in different mediums. In summary, The Bob Newhart Show exhibited unique aspects such as its distinctive opening sequence experiment and the lead actor's involvement in radio. These elements added to the show's character and legacy. The Bob Newhart Show, a 1972 TV series, featured Bob Newhart, a member of the improvisational group The Committee from 1965-75. Newhart had a close friendship with the late Suzanne Plachette, his co-star on the show. He spoke at her funeral alongside another co-star, Marsha Wallace, on 24 January 2008. Wallace and Plachette were both part of the series with him. In a Star Trek episode called Assignment Earth, Newhart played a ditzy secretary. This episode was meant to set the stage for a spin-off series focusing on Newhart's character, but the spin-off never materialized. Instead, it was intended to feature more adventures of Newhart's character alongside Robert Lansing's character.